Just a couple of days ago, I went on a walk. You know how people do, they, they walk to stay in shape. Now obviously, you wouldn't know anything about that, you fat piece of shit. Nigga got the donuts to the side of the monitor ready to chow them bitches down the moment his dopamine and blood sugar levels start acting up. But uh, yeah, the walk, right? Um, Well first of all, it was hot as fuck. Like, for real, what's been going on with the weather lately, huh? Niggas in hell would see these heat waves Earth's been shoving down our asses and rejoice. Thank God we're in hell instead of over there. Them niggas getting crispy. But yeah, the walk, right? So I'm walking down this one strip that's got all these fast food places and a nigga getting thirsty. The sun was evaporating all the moisture out of my body. Like I could feel every liquid in my being becoming scarce. The diarrhea in my ass was hardening up. The cum in my nuts was probably drying into some sort of powder. Nigga was really on some thirsty shit. So uh, I decided to walk into one of the fast food spots to give me a cup of water. That's right, water. A nigga like you never even heard of that noun before, huh? Water, bitch. Niggas get thirsty and be like, um, can I get a glass of Dr. Pepper? Not even knowing that shit really dehydrates you. The place I walked in was a Burger King, one that I've been to many times before. So I go in, I ask the dude at the counter, uh, hey bro, can I get a water cup? Now usually they hand you them clear ass baby cups so they can see that you're really getting water and not soda, but this customer service dude was chill. He was a real ass nigga. Nigga handed me one of the regular soda cups, even though I was gonna get water anyways, but if I was a devious nigga, that nigga would've gotten some assist points off that play. Nigga would've got that 150 gold off the gank mid lane. After obtaining the water, I start walking out the door, right? And to the corner of my eye, I sense a familiar aura. I turn and I see an old schoolmate of mine. I don't mean to disrespect or anything, but she used to be the school of thought. Like, I'm telling you, this bitch was sucking and fucking like there was a scoreboard. That bitch probably earned the Medal of Honor in high school for how many niggas she's fucked. But she was still a pretty cool girl, and I was cool with her at some point. I'm sipping my water, right? You know, like, like the real nigga that I am, and I speak up. Obviously, I say that shit with my chest because I'm a man. I'm like, what's good, bitch? You know, I gotta, I gotta assert that dominance. Nah, but for real, I'm like, hey, what's up? She turns to me, right, and starts squinting a bit like she's trying to recognize me. So I'm like, I guess you don't remember me, but I remember you. And she responds to me saying, hold on a sec, I just don't got my glasses. And she keeps looking up at my face, probably waiting for the memories to flood in. Not gonna lie, it, it was getting kind of uncomfortable. Felt like I was an art exhibit for a couple of seconds. Then again, I mean, I am a work of art, so I, I, I completely understand. You know that one song that Kendrick made? Bitch don't kill my vibe, and he has that one line that says, I can feel your energy from two planets away. Well, meanwhile, me and homegirl are talking to one another. One of her coworkers, or should I say the troll from Dora, yeah, the troll from Dora makes its guest appearance. Like, I, I really gotta describe this creature to you. Very short girl, she kinda looked like she just got out of a fight with one of those Haygravens from off of Skyrim. Uh, my bad, my bad. I mean, what, what I meant to say was, she looks like a Haygraven that just got out of a fight with an elder dragon. That's a much better description. This bitch opens her mouth and says, oh, she remembers you, she just don't wanna talk to you. In my head, I already know it's not true. Like, when she said that shit, it, it kind of just evaporated before it even hit my air canal. You know, you know kind of like the way a comet that gets too close to the sun gets incinerated before it can actually reach it. But it did make me wonder, why did she say that though? It made me wonder, like, how did this person grow up? How do other people view this person? What was the type of relationship they had with their mother and father? It really inspired me, dog. not gonna lie. To be the type of person that just sends negative energy into the atmosphere out of spite, there had to be some sort of life-altering event where they just decided, I'm gonna be a plague on society. Then again, then again, this could just be basic Burger King customer service, so maybe I'm overthinking it, but. Anyways, I went back on my walk, water in hand, and enjoyed the rest of the day, you know? I really hope the hay graven that I encountered in the wild also had a good day. Yeah, I hope she's doing pretty good. For each and every moment that I fucked the 